is for another general tarot reading. This one is for my Virgos. So if you are a Virgo, sun, moon, or rising, something in this is for you. So instead of doing the, just pulling a couple cards from each deck or asking the three questions in a statement, I came up with eight different questions I'm gonna ask every single sign now, um, each reading. So I'm also not doing it by element anymore. I'm breaking it down by your specific zodiac. It's always, always gonna be sun, moon, and rising, still always gonna be timeless. But so, got my questions right here so I don't forget them. And the first one is, how is your past impacting your current situation? I was trying not to do that right in the speaker. That's why I always go over and under. Ways that your past are impacting your current situation. Two of Wands in reverse and the Death in reverse first. So there was some type of transformation that you were resisting because you were caught up on just making everything look as fairy tale like as possible. You just wanted what you wanted, and if they didn't fit that reality, you were just going to pretend that they were. So it looks like um, you're about to have a repeat lesson with the Seven of Pentacles and the Seven of Wands in reverse because you didn't exactly learn your lesson in this last situation. So it could be like an ex, you overstayed your welcome, you did whatever it took until they just absolutely wouldn't talk to you anymore. And so now you're in a current relationship and you're noticing that they're kind of distancing and things might not be the same. And instead of just flat out having a conversation and seeing whether or not it can be worked out, you're just trying to give them more of what they already are not appreciating. So what should you currently be focused on? You got the Okay, I got your title real quick first Is it good to ask questions? It's okay to ask questions But you got the Page of Cups The King of Pentacles The Page of Swords in Reverse And the Eight of Wands in Reverse So What you should be focused on right now it's just figuring out like what it is that's causing them to distance themselves in the first place. Does that have anything to do with you at all? Because it could be th that they're going through something mentally about themselves that they don't like. It could be that something's going on with their family. Or it could be that they're cheating. <laughs> you don't know. It could be that they don't like you anymore. Like the point is you just don't really know for sure until you actually sit down and just talk to them and ask. This is warning you not to assume and to take it slow. If they're not ready to talk about it yet, don't push and prod and pry, like, because you're probably going to catch them off guard. So give them time to process their own emotions and decide what it is they want to say to you. Ooh, sorry, I'm so tired, y'all. What's taking up too much of your attention right now? taking up too much of your attention so you got the two of wands in reverse the seven of swords in reverse the death card in reverse and the two of pentacles in reverse so essentially the same thing it's like you're trying to make things super easy on them at home by like smothering them with affection you're trying to take the load off by maybe like doing their chores and things like that by telling them everything that you do, thinking that maybe they're feeling insecure in that area, but none of that is what's really wrong, so you're really just frustrating them. They need you to just focus on actually talking to them and seeing what's wrong with them. That's what's taking up too much of your attention is you just assuming, pretty much. What can you expect regarding this in the near future? the magician the page of cups and the knight of pentacles in reverse so pretty much in the near future what you do finally talk to them you can see that you guys will have the tools to work it out for, if, for most of you it's not going to be that it's anything about you at all but even for the ones where it is something about you it's something that can be worked out because it's not like a character flaw it might be something like 
they just like can't handle the fact that you leave your cups on every surface in the house you know like they already got enough on their plate right now they're frustrated they were already angry and so that's just like sending them over the edge and so if the simple fix is okay you'll be more mindful you'll put your cups away it could be something as simple as that again you just don't know until you ask but in the near future whatever it is know that you guys will be able to work it out the feelings are still there about um, you guys caring for one another so they will be willing like you will have to initiate this conversation but once you do they'll be more than willing to participate and is there any way that you're holding yourself back right now is there any way that you're holding yourself back in reverse and the queen of pentacles so with the hierophant and the ace of cups the main way that you're holding yourself back is you're focusing too much on somebody else and not enough on yourself to even see like why is it that you're reacting this way to their distance like that's something that you might want to unpack whether that's with yourself or like with a therapist and then you have the eight of wands in reverse and the queen of pentacles showing you that you're not you know focused enough on what it is that you need to get done like around the home as well to keep the energy as high as possible so for some of you that cup example really was spot on so just like be more mindful of the condition of your home and how that affects y'all's energy so it's holding you back that you're not being observant enough so moving on to the oracles what do your ancestors have to say about this or something else So first they have no. So some of you are going to be tempted to make, try, attempt to make them talk right when you very first bring it up. And all that's going to do is cause an argument where neither of you are going to really hear each other. And it's going to be completely counterproductive. So they're saying please resist the temptation to try to force them to do anything that they don't want to do. Because it's not even going to end the way that you want it to. But they're also letting you know that they're there for you they're guiding you every step of the way you just gotta make sure that you're tuning into your intuition and then you got soul family that they're sending flesh people in your path too that are wise in this area and that can give you good advice a lot of times they'll speak through those people as well so make sure you're really listening when your friends tell you something over the next few days what do your spirit guides have to say solutions listen to the heart and rose gold cosmic king so for some of you whatever is wrong with them it won't have anything to do with you but that doesn't mean that you can't like really help them with it or help them through it but whatever it is it's going to take some creative solutions like if it's about their self-esteem or whatever you're already complimenting them all the time like that's just their way of thinking so you can more so like introduce them to affirmations or like different types of therapy like maybe they just do talk therapy and they need a CPT program or neurofeedback or something like that, you know, whatever it is, it's going to take some thinking outside of the box. So be prepared for that. But following your intuition and the things that come along with that, that's going to be um, or is one of your gifts, whether you realize it or not yet. So you can do something for yes or no questions starting out right now, like flipping a coin or if you have a white crystal and a black crystal, you can kind of shuffle them and be like, yeah, the white one falls out of my hand if it's yes, the black one if it's no. Something like that. Just start practicing those type of things so you can start trusting yourself more and relying on you. And then bathe, bathe in cosmic love and soak up wisdom. This is, again, just a reminder that your spirit guides are with you too, just like your ancestors, guiding you every step of the way, making sure that things go as smooth as possible. And now what are three actions you can take that'll just make things better? Reassess, have faith, laugh at your demons. So with this have faith first, actually, um, some of you are going to be afraid to speak up and start that conversation because you're thinking it's going to lead to a breakup. They're saying have faith, like they wouldn't tell you to 
do something that wasn't for you. So it's not, I'm not hearing that you guys will be breaking up um, as a result of this conversation. But for some of you, they're just saying like, understand that what's for you will never pass you by. So even if that was the result, it will be okay because that's what's best for you. I fight your demons. They're just saying don't take any of this too serious. You live and you learn. Some of you I see, you know, trying to kind of be hard on yourselves. And they're saying it's okay. You don't know what you don't know. But after you do know, then you can just act accordingly and everything will be fine. And they reassess again. They just want you to unpack like why you approach these types of situations the way that you do to see where you have areas for improvement too. Well, pretty odd. So, Virgos, that's what I have for you guys today. If anything resonated, please like, comment, share, subscribe to the channel, all that jazz. Um, I drop videos almost every day. Sometimes on Sundays, but the rest of the days. And if I miss a day, I'll make it up. Like today. I'm doing six today because I didn't do any yesterday, and I'm not doing any tomorrow. And it just be like that sometimes. But definitely, at least once a week, you'll get a reading for your sign. If you want more information, though, about your particular storyline, you can always book a personal reading with me. There's a link in the description box. All right, y'all. Peace.